Okay, so today I'm going to be demonstrating uh, day two of the French toast. So I have my equipment out, I have my ingredients out, and again, my hair is up, my apron's on, and my hands have been washed. I've just preheated my griddle to 375. So I start at 375, and then when I'm ready to go, I bump up the temp temperature to 400. I like my French toast nice and golden brown and a little crisp. So day two, you're gonna take your container, your cinnamon you're gonna see in the egg and everything is probably all settled up on top. That's okay. You're gonna then pour the French toast mixture from day one into a shallow bowl. You're gonna have your whisk already out. You're gonna get any of that cinnamon off the sides and into your mixture. You have a rubber scraper handy too. That could be helpful. that over. So you're going to see, or maybe you're going to see. Okay, so I'm going to now just take my whisk, with, whisk again and mix this up nicely. Let me just take my recipe out from underneath. Okay, so you're going to beat thoroughly, break up some of that cinnamon. What I'm going to be using is I'm using cinnamon raisin bread. That's what I like to use. In class, I think I have cinnamon bread, cinnamon raisin bread. Um, white bread doesn't usually work that good, uh, kind of falls apart in the egg mixture. Whole wheat is definitely a better option uh, and healthier option too, okay, providing more fiber uh, into our diet. So you see how I'm just taking my whisk, mixing it up thoroughly. Again, we know the test for testing the griddle. You're going to take a little bit of water. Uh, if the water's going to dance around and disappear, you're good. If it totally disappears, it means it's too hot, okay? And if it just sits there, it doesn't mean that it's hot enough. Again, if you don't have a griddle at home, you can use skillets on your stove top, okay? Again, I like to use the griddle at school because you can get six anywhere from six to eight pieces on the griddle at the same time. Okay, so what I'm going to do... It says, that it says to bring your egg mixture and bread close to the griddle. I'm doing this at home so my stuff is already nice and close. I'm going to lightly... Okay, so here's a continua continuation of the French toast because my phone was ringing, so hopefully it all went well. Um, my, I believe I was mixing the French toast mixture that has settled since I, I took the phone call. And my griddle hopefully is not too hot now. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lightly grease my griddle. I'm gonna probably hear it sizzle. So what I'm doing is just taking and I'm placing butter all over and it's melting. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my egg mixture, I'm gonna take my whisk out of my egg mixture. And what I like to use is to use a pair of tongs. Okay, so what I'm going to do is dip it into my shallow bowl. In school, you're going to be using a, a metal glass bowl. And then what I like to do is take all that extra egg mixture off the side. Then you're just going to place it onto your griddle. And you can hear it sizzle. Okay, you want to make sure you coat both sides. I like to use the cinnamon raisin bread. Works really good if you like raisins or it's cinnamon bread or again... Use some whole wheat bread. The white, like I said, tends to fall apart when it goes into your egg mixture. I'm dipping it in. Tongs, again, are nice and easy. If you use a fork, it tends to break through the bread also. So using a griddle, you can see I'm going to be able to get probably six pieces onto my griddle at a time. Taking all that excess. That's a car you might hear. I'm hoping um, my husband doesn't walk in the door and ruin my video. That actually was my mother-in-law. I'm calling with my son, so I did have to take that call. He would probably be mad if he knew I was doing this without him because he does like to uh, do the demonstrations with me because he likes to uh, have my students laugh at the things he does behind my back in the video. All right, and I'm going to go with one more. So I'm putting seven pieces on. You get two per two pieces per person in your group. So it says eight to ten slices. Again, it may make more. OK, 
Okay, so I'm going to give you what I have in class or what we have enough, um, whatever we have enough time to cook. If that makes any sense, which I don't think it does. Okay, so I'm going to see if you guys can see this. So some grooves may get eight pieces, some grooves may get ten, people, ten pieces. So what my main goal is for everybody to get two pieces of French toast and then have time to eat it. If you do have some extra batter, uh, if I do have extra bread, I'll allow you to make that also. Okay, so what you would do, you want a nice golden color. So this is the first one that I put on. It's probably going to be the first one that I've taken off. Now because I was talking to him, because my griddle was on for some time when I was on the phone, I never put it up to 400 degrees. So I like to bump up the temperature up to 400 degrees. So I don't know if I'm going to quite be ready uh, right now. So I'm going to lift it up and see if I'm starting to get that nice golden color. And I actually am. Again, you just want to be careful. So I'm just going to show you. So I have a nice golden color. I like it to be nice and hard and I like it crisp. Okay. Flipping again, flipping again. You don't want it to be all soggy. It's a nice golden color there. Just try to flip it up and turn it. Just basically getting it into the same spot. And you also want to make sure you've gotten enough butter on there. You don't want a, a ton of butter on there because then it tends to burn too. Okay, a little light coating like I did at the beginning. And you shouldn't need more butter the second time around. This is non-stick you should be good okay and then you're going to give the other side enough time for that to get a nice golden color so I'm gonna get a plate out probably have a, a regular plate a glass plate out for you guys uh, as they come off and then of course we're going to eat off the paper plates because that makes it uh, easy for cleanup All right so again how are you gonna know if the other side is cooking or getting to the desired uh, brownness that you like, you can just kind of flip it over, right? And it's actually looking good. Okay, so I'm noticing that I'm actually using the same um, tongs, okay? What you may want to do, because again, I've had raw egg, and now I have cooked egg and cooked items, okay? So what I know, I have a pair of tongs in the drawer. What you guys may want to do, what I suggest you do, is you, you rinse off and clean your tongs, okay? So I have a clean pair here, because again, that would be called cross-contamination, right? That big word that I've taught, uh, taught you. Okay, so look, we've got a nice golden color. I know it's hot, but I want to try to show you. We've got nice golden color on both sides. Now, if only it was breakfast time, because it is uh, 2.15 in the afternoon, I would eat it, okay? Not, I, I really wouldn't suggest heating bread up in the microwave, possibly popping it um, in the oven later on, or, or if my hungry husband comes in, he's going to have some French toast right now. All right, so look at that nice golden color. Mmm, it smells so good in here. Maybe I'm going to have to take some. All right, so again, if you have more bread in your group, you're going to put more bread. You're going to dip it in the egg mixture. You're going to place it on here. And then we're going to try to sit uh, like one big happy family uh, with your group. Again, a little bit of syrup. If you have some powdered sugar, you should put some powdered sugar on that too. Okay, so that's French toast day two. I hope you enjoy.